second annual Fountain Pen Day is almost here, November 1st, 2013, this coming Friday. So, what's going to go on this year that's going to keep everybody involved and moving forward? Well, let me tell you. Aaron from Zeller Writing Company made a video not too long ago, and one of the things we spoke about was how in July of 2012, if you put in the search engine, Fountain Pen Day, and you put it in quotes, and you did a Google search, basically nothing came up. And 16 months later, maybe? If you put that in, you will be shocked at how much comes up. If you click images, you will be shocked at how much comes up, because everyone has been so excited and waiting for this. You know, part of my involvement became because I couldn't believe that there was a ballpoint pen day. A ballpoint pen day? Are you kidding? And there isn't a fountain pen day? So that was one of the reasons I really wanted to uh, be involved in this and, and really push it. So let's get to it. Um, this year, the second annual, which is nice, we can call it the second annual, um, fountain pen day writing contest is in effect and it is on the website uh, if you go to uh, fountainpenday.org and you click on the information the drop down menu will show and the 2013 contest comes up click the link all the instructions and prizes are there it's very very simple to enter the contest you're going to simply either write or draw or a combination of both about fountain pens obviously using a fountain pen um, we do ask that you let us know, and, and I think it's it's actually in there. It will ask what pen you used, or pens, uh, the inks that you used, and you're going to simply submit it, and you will have until 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sunday, November 3rd, 2013. After that, we will upload as quickly as possible and have on display to vote on those pictures that have been submitted. You will be able to vote until 11.59 Eastern Standard Time on November 6th, 2013. Now, the winners are going to get um, pretty nice prizes this year. Uh, let's see, the pen company is hosting the first place prize of 50 British pounds to their store. You can spend it any way you want uh, in their store and it will be sent directly to you. You will also receive a uh, notebook cover which is donated by me because one of the things I learned this year was how to make them. Uh, second place will be a $20 gift certificate to Zella Writing Company and a notebook cover. Third place is a $10 gift certificate to Zella Writing Company and a notebook cover. Um, as well, I got uh, I got Wallberry uh, ink from Wall Eversharp. I was lucky enough to get a bottle. And since it's not for sale, I thought it'd be kind of neat to also give everybody uh, who wins a, uh, a small sample of it. Uh, I know he's going to have it out soon, but until then, it's a really beautiful blue. Just something else to add in. So I'm going to take a quick moment to explain the notebooks because I want to make sure everyone understands exactly what the covers are. I'm going to try and include a notebook. I have some on the way. Um, this size is... Um, the Traveler's Notebook, the, the smallest one. You can see how it sits in there. Sherman Focus. Um, it's instructed I have three. I actually did it where, the way I learned, so that there's three straps inside. On the outside you have where they meet. They wrap around so you can put three notebooks in. I figured out ways that you can slide them in. And I know Brian Goulet has shown this with rubber bands. You can actually attach other notebooks together. Um, I got some string, totally, I got hemp string, and just tied it in there and put it down. I, I got a couple of different colors, I'll add those in, and the strap simply goes around. I saw somebody do this, these little things on here. If you don't like it, you just cut here and cut here and you can take it off if you don't like the way it looks. Um, I just wanted to do something to protect it. Um, the next size I did, and, and there's a couple of them. There's ones done in this in this fabric also, which has kind of a texture to it, which is nice. It's blank inside, so you can see how the strings are. I left the cords a little bit long in here, so you could trim them if you felt like you wanted to adjust something. Um, the next size, 
is the reason I made these in the first place. These hold three and a half by five and a half notebooks. Um, these are field notes. This is a banded apple, and they fit in here great. Again, it's got your string. I made a few of these. Here's another. That's the one I showed you before. <laughs> Losing track. This one's in black. It's got a different cord. Um, I ordered different types of cords. This one holds the Claire Fontaine book, uh, which is the uh, 9 by 14 centimeter. And this one. My notebook was in field notes. Oh, this has got the um, Lecture 1917 book in it, which is a little bit larger than all the others. It's a little bigger than 3.5 by 5.5. But I made it so that it fits in here. And again, that was really what started the whole project. And lastly is a, uh, this is a B5 size. So I make sure it fits in the screen. <laughs> this is a notebook I made myself. Um, this is a great idea to use the uh, cover from cereal boxes. Obviously, I'm not eating healthy cereal. but And uh, this one has just, actually, this is sugarcane uh, paper. Which is really nice. I got this from a fellow member on Found Thing Geeks. And she was nice enough to share it with me. So, anyways, those are the notebooks. It's a brief rundown. I'll try and have the colors. I'm going to make more. Um, I'm going to also try and give them away uh, on the day. Through Twitter, through Instagram, through Facebook, through all the social networks that we use. Kind of at random. Um, as well, I want to run through a couple of quick things and I'll let everybody go. Because I don't want to bore everyone. But there is a lot going on, and a lot of things have uh, have changed as far as who's sponsoring. Um, we've gotten a lot more sponsors, uh, ones that need to be added still as well. Um, but in any case, if you go on the site, you'll see all the sponsors that are there, the discounts that these sponsors have added, retailers, manufacturers, it is growing by the day. And it's very nice that they're willing to do that. And while some people say, well, it's, you know, they're making money. Well, that's good. It's really good because this year we saw the fall of a couple of fountain pen stores. Um, I know Stylios went out. And um, as well, we lost one of, the, uh, one of the bigger ones. We lost Art Browns this year. So it's good to support them. And it's very nice that they support Fountain Pen Day as well. When they send out a, an email blast to, say, 5,000 of their customers, reminding them about Fountain Pen Day, it keeps the hobby alive and it keeps things going because all of us know, more than anything, that handwriting is going down the tubes as schools and decide they don't want to teach cursive anymore for whatever reason. But, all right. So, what's going on? We have contests, and one of them is... is um, from Right Here Pens in uh, like Shrewsbury, U uh, United Kingdom, giving away an Omas Art Deco fountain pen. How nice is that? Zell Writing Company, he's giving away a brand new Twisby uh, Micarta, the version 2 that comes in the book, really cool. He's giving away a bunch of inks, um, gift cards as well. Uh, the Writing Desk, which is in uh, Bury St. Edmunds in the UK, they're giving away an Edison fountain pen. Really nice. Um, there's also celebrations that are going on besides all the pen posses and the pen meetings that, that people are trying to have together. Um, Bertram's Inkwell uh, is having his annual pen fair on November 2nd on that, on that Saturday. Uh, he's been doing that for years. It's, it's always a really, I haven't been there, but I've seen pictures from it. And, uh, you know, he gets a lot of people that go there. This year, um, as I think last year he was there also, but Shaw Pens was there. Uh, I know he's giving away a Gilbert Fountain pen. Uh, you have to be present to enter. But that's nice because it makes people get out and get involved and be there. So you go there and you get to socialize and, and make, make it an event. You know, because Fountain Pen Day is on Friday, officially, the first Friday of November. But it's meant, meant to be on a Friday so that you could take maybe your favorite pen to work and share it with your coworkers and, and talk it up and maybe give a few pens out. But then you still have the weekend to go out and enjoy yourself and spend that weekend with other people that really enjoy that hobby. It's almost like an international pen show weekend, if you will. Um, who else? There are UN Luggage in Winnipeg, Canada is also having a fine writing night. Um, they 
have, who's going to be there? At that one, Michael Pons of Lamy Canada. He's going to be there for that night, um, which is really nice. Uh, the Fountain Pen Shop that's in California uh, next Friday on November 8th, sorry, the following Friday on November 8th, they're having their 91st, 91st International Pen Fair. So that's really nice, too, to see that, you know, that's going on. Um, notable uh, notable stationers in Edmonton, Canada. On November 7th, they're actually having uh, a pen night as well. It's a jewelry pen night. And uh, they are going to have representatives from the pen company. She wasn't sure exactly who was confirmed yet, but they are having that. So, you know, there's a lot going on. Um, and, and it really makes a difference. Uh, actually, everyone should take a moment actually and go to the pen company. <clears throat> I know they're sponsoring the, the number one sponsor of our contest, but they actually had their uh, webmaster change the front page of their website uh, for the weekend. And uh, they did a really nice job with it. So, all right, I've gone on enough, but I just wanted to thank everyone for joining in, remind everyone this weekend, write some letters. Um, if you can, wherever you post on the, on the web, let's try and write it out, post a picture of it. Remember to put the ink in the pen that you use because we're all going to ask you. If you have an old pen that you don't use anymore and you're not going to sell it, you know what? Send it to a friend. Make it a surprise. Send them an ink sample to go with it. You know, have a get-together with friends. And if you're in an area where there's not a lot of pen people and you feel you're all alone, you know what? Go on the board. See who's around. If two people are together, that counts. I've done that. I found, short story, <laughs> I found somebody on Fountain Pen Geeks. She, her parents live and she grew up literally three minutes from where I've been working for the past eight years. We got together and had coffee and spent an hour. Got to share inks and pens. It was great. So whatever you do this weekend, make sure you enjoy it. Spread the word and share your enthusiasm with somebody out there. Have a great fountain pen day and thank you all.